I believe this one is set in Mexico City in what I assume is the 80s. And the story here follows this 17 year old kid and some of his friends too. But primarily this one kid who is kind of technically inclined. His dad wants him to become an engineer and he likes to build things and fix electronics and whatnot. But this is basically the story of how he gets involved in this local underground party slash art scene. With a bunch of people who feel like they've been marginalized and who have something to say. Now that might sound like an interesting premise. It definitely did to me. And there is a ton of interesting stuff they could have done with this. However, I found this to be pretty boring to be completely honest. And it's actually pretty rare that I find a movie to be genuinely boring. But for some reason I just didn't find this one to be very engaging or gripping. The characters just weren't that interesting and the writing was very dry. And the filmmaking just felt kind of bland. Not outright bad, but just bland. Nothing about it impressed me at all. And well, I gotta admit I wasn't a huge fan of some of the camera work. Because there are essentially two things that kinda annoy me about camera work. And one of them is the shaky handheld type and the other is close-ups that are way too close. And this one had a fair amount of both of those things, so yeah, that definitely didn't help me like this. But to be fair, it honestly didn't bother me that much either. Just initially really, then I sorta of got used to it and it blended into the background. But it's just another thing that failed to impress me, and yeah, I wasn't a fan of that. Now the acting though was fine for the most part, but again, none of the performances really stood out to me. Well, except Hari Sama, the director, who has a smaller role in this. For some reason I just really liked his performance in this, and liked his character as well. He plays the main kid's uncle, and yeah, I thought he was really good in this. But honestly, that's pretty much the only thing that really stood out to me, at all. It's more or less the only memorable aspect, and the rest of it was just sort of meh. And again, I have to stress that there is stuff in here that should be interesting. The whole scene the main character gets involved with should make this way more intriguing than it is. I mean, it's virtually a well of untapped potential, but the movie barely scratches the surface. There's just so much more they could have done with that. Oh, and then there's this whole thing with the sister of the main kid's friend. She has this sort of punk band that could have led somewhere too, but basically ended up being a completely dead end too. It really never went anywhere. So yeah, I feel like they should have been able to do a lot more with this story. Now I will say that toward the end in the last like 30 minutes or so, I feel like it eventually did pick up a little bit. Some interesting things started to happen, but it was just way too little, way too late. Because almost the entire movie is just very, very slow build up to that. But the build up itself isn't gripping enough and I don't feel like the payoff is good enough either. So the whole thing kind of falls flat and as I said ended up being rather boring to me. And I guess I could go on about everything else that I didn't find particularly engaging about this. But what's the point really? I think I've said enough and made my views very clear. Because at the end of the day this was just pretty bland and boring to me. And even the things I didn't like weren't terrible, they just weren't that good. So how about it? Would I recommend this? Ah, uh, no, not really. There are just so many more interesting movies out there right now. So I'd say this one is fairly safe to skip. Or you could not do that. After all, I'm not your dad. But hey, what are your thoughts on this? Have you seen it? Did you like it? Let me know. And if you enjoyed the video, maybe give it a thumbs up or sub to the channel, because that would be fantastic. And if you'd like, you can also support me on Patreon or PayPal through the links in the description. And as always, I appreciate you and thanks for watching.